which is quickest in a drag race, the new Toyota GR Yaris, or an old Mitsubishi Evo 6 Tommy Mackinnon. Well, we're gonna find out. We're also gonna rolling race them and brake test them. So these cars are very, very closely linked. They're both Japanese, they're both turbocharged, they're both four wheel drive. They're both rally cars for the road. And of course, Tommy Mackinnon, who won the WRC in a Mitsubishi Evo. He was the team principal of Toyota Gazoo Racing's rally team, which is winning the WRC. Very, very closely linked. In fact, he helped develop this very car. So we're gonna put them head to head and I've brought my old friend Yanni along to take part as well. Hey Yanni, how you doing? You all right? Hey, hey mate. Old school, old school, love this. Proper old school. I mean, that car's year 2000. When I started as a motoring journalist back in 2001, it was one of my very, very favorite cars that I ever reviewed. What's it like in there? Pretty basic. It's basic, it's got Recaro seats, it's got a Momo steering wheel, but it's cool, it's fun, and it's manual. Hello, manual. When was the last time you drove a manual car? Pass, no idea, let's hope I don't stall it. <laughs> I've never had you in a manual car. I'm not even sure whether you can launch a manual car. The poor clutch in that thing. Have you, have you tried it? Do you know what to do? Foot on the clutch, foot on the accelerator, lift up the clutch, and away you go. Hands 10 to two, and use the mirrors. Mirror manoeuvre signal. Signal maneuver mirror, I passed a long time ago. It's mirror signal maneuver. Yeah, maybe you should have a retest. Especially when you're driving around in things with like 800 horsepower and stuff like that. Anyway, listen, if you shut up for a bit now, I'll do all the stats on these cars because I bet you just want to go on your phone, right? I don't know anything about this car, mate. This is one of my classics. A Lancer Evolution 6, this one. Tommy Mackinnon edition. Two litre, four cylinder, 16 valve, 276 horsepower, 275 newton meters. <laughs> I actually know loads on this. What? You don't know anything about any car? You don't even know anything about your own cars? What are you doing? Are you on the internet? Look, having got a phone in my hand, this is about 1.3 kilograms. I know the fuel tank holds around five litres. The suspension front is the McPherson strut. It's got a stabiliser bar, aluminium, lower arm, suspension rear, multi-link with stabiliser bar. It's got loads of stuff, mate. I can read all day long. I mean, um, I can... Roll this off all day long. <laughs> See? I said read! Oh, yeah, there you are, you're in. Wait right there, you've got the pressure in the car. And then he's got to the... lift it up. Do you know what, though, Yanni? I don't mean to be a. An annoying git although I am very good at it. I don't think the weight of that car is actually 1.3 kilos. It's probably 1.3 tonnes. It says 1.36 kilograms here, mate. So you basically are like Ron Burgundy. You'll say what you see. Come again? Basically, there's a typo on the press kit. And you just read it out. <laughs> Brilliant. OK, let me do this car, because I'll do it from memory, because I'm an absolute car geek. So this has a 1.6 litre, three cylinder turbo petrol with 261 horsepower and 360 Newton meters of torque. Got a six speed manual. We've got all wheel drive. It actually has a special mode when I can put it into a rear drive bias. So 70% of the torque going to the rear because when I'm accelerating off the line, the weight will go to the back, it'll help my traction. I've got a special thing for the gear shift. So when I'm changing down, it'll auto blip it. Weight wise, 1,280 kilos. So it's lighter than that car, although it's not because that's 1.3 kilograms apparently. Anyway, price-wise, this is 33,000 pounds. That's because it has a circuit pack on it. So it's about three grand that is over the standard 30 grand asking price. And you get a front and rear limited slip diff. Definitely worth it. You also get the nicer wheels, which are like the Einke wheels on that Evo 6. Very nice. Also get slightly stiffer suspension. That Evo back in the day, about £33,000, so like for like in terms of price. That one now, though, it's mint, 50 grand. What's it going to be like, though, in the drag race? Well, before we actually find out, make sure you subscribe to this channel and please hit that bell icon to turn your notifications on. That way you won't miss a single upload. And before we race, let's have a sound check. Now, it sounds quite good inside, but that's because Toyota plays fake noise through the speakers. I think on the outside, it's all just like vacuum cleanery. I can hear the turbo whistling. They're not faking that noise. What did that sound like to you, Jan? Because inside here... It sounded pretty good because they play fake noises to the speakers. Was it crap on the outside? Rubbish. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Let's hear yours. This revs up to seven and a half thousand as well. Yeah, mine does seven. Bounce that limiter, baby. Bounce that limiter. Oh, poor press car. Uh, let us know which you think sounded the best. 
down below. This is having to deal with all sorts of particulate filters and stuff like that, and EU noise regs, blah, blah, blah. Back in 2000, it was fine to just poison everybody. At least things sounded good as you coughed. <coughs> Anyway, it's race. Buying a new car? Then head to CarWow, and my team will help you find your next car at a fair price. CarWow, your one-stop car buying comparison site. Three, two, one. I did. Oh, who's off the line quicker than me? What happened? Now he's buggered. He's coming back though, isn't he? No, I'll batter him. Oh, it's close. Well, I won that, but I think you really bogged down and my start was rubbish as well. True, let's do that again, but I reckon I will batter you this time, but it really bogged down, I don't know why. That was a wicked start. Better. Oh, this is close. Oh, come on. Come on, Toyota! Oh, he's coming now! Come on, come on! This is so close. Go! A race! Oh yeah, and that was so close. Your launch was all right, mate. It was better, but it wasn't as good as I know I can do. I reckon I could actually wipe the floor of you, is the honest truth. The thing is, we're gonna have to keep doing it over and over again until you do eventually beat me, but I'm not sure what's gonna come first, you beating me or the clutch just being destroyed, and I'd rather not destroy the clutch. So then, what exactly happened? Well, both cars did the stunning quarter mile in 12.5 seconds. However, the freeze frame shows that the Yaris was just ahead by the narrowest of margins. But will Yanni accept defeat? Probably not. I'll tell you what, Jan. You can launch it and you can do it again. But I have to pay for the clutch. Pay for it. If you are willing to pay for it, I will do it. If you're not, bear in mind it could be three grand and you might still lose. Do you want to do it? Lego, let's do it. <laughs> That's all on record, my friend. Let's do it. That's why I love you. <laughs> Three, two, one. Missed it. Oh, I hope it doesn't go now, that clutch. <laughs> Worth it, wasn't it? What happened, Yanni? Bogged down again. The clutch pedal is very high. Hasn't gone, so I don't need to pay three grand, but it is very, very high. We're not going to do this all day. We've got other things to do, right? Yeah. Hopefully, I'll beat you on the second race and we'll be all right. Okay, let's do it. You ready? Rolling race. Yo, my bro, there's a ch- oh, sh <laughs> It's on his phone. Sorry, bro, I'm filming. I'll message you back in a minute. Right, rolling race from 40 miles an hour. We're in fifth, and then we're going to suddenly change down again into second. I'll count it in. You ready? Oh, Yanni, I've got an auto blip feature on my car. Can I use that, yes or no? No. Okay, I'll turn it off. Right, here we go. Three, two, one, go. Oh! Sake. Was that the Evo's gearbox I heard dying then? Yeah, you're done, mate. Bro, the problem is going from fifth to second is not easy. I went from fifth to fourth. That's part of the test. It's not just the car, it's a test for you. I'd rather go from fourth to second. All right. We can go from fourth to second. I don't know whether that's going to help any. Of course it will, because I'm already in the fourth gear, so I know I can't go back into fourth gear. Let's try it again then, from fourth at 40, into second. Right, here we go. Three, two, one, go. I 
on the rubbish gear change. Yes! Oh, come on, little car. Keep pedaling, keep pedaling. And I'm pulling. I think you won that. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah, baby. I was not expecting that. The last time you drove a manual, what, 2002 or something? I'm a motoring journalist. <laughs> you just kicked my ass <laughs> with a downshift. It has been many, many moons, mate, but that felt nice. Do you know what we should do? We should do a job swap. I'll come and like wrap some cars and you can get and say things about other people's cars. That wouldn't work because I don't wrap cars, remember? I can't even wrap. I'm an owner, I'm a boss. You're not the boss of me. Do you see Richard Branson flying the planes? No. All right, Anya, and rolling race from 50 miles an hour this time, just in third, and I'll count it in. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, go. Oh my God, this has got the torque. Cheated on the go, didn't he? Is that coming back? I think your car's coming back. Mine tops out at like 143. Can you come past? Come on! You're gonna do it! Come on! We're reaching the braking zone soon, but I think you've just... Wow, that was wicked. 140, mate, 140. Well done, baby. Two rolling races to you. We'll forget about the first rolling race when you completely copped up your gear change. Three drugs to me, though, but let's do a brake test, see if you can even it out. All square. Why am I so disappointed in this race? I think it's just because I love that Evo 6. Our synchronised driving is stupendous. Yeah, OK, let's get to 70 rather than appreciating our synchronicity. OK, brake test, full emergency start when we hit the line, 70 miles an hour. I'm going to put down my radio now and I'll speak to you again after I've won the brake test. I'd expect to win this, but who knows? Let's see. Here's the line. <laughs> Modern brakes beat older brakes and your car's heavier, even though it's older. Yeah. That was pretty awesome. Love this car. It is absolutely epic. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching. Now, if you'd like to check out the CarWow Drag Race leaderboard to see where this Yaris appears and that Tommy Mackinnon, click on that little box there. You can go to our website and check it out with all the cars we've drag raced. We've got all their standing quarter mile times there. Alternatively, if you click on that window or that window down there, you can watch some more drag races. Hope you'll enjoy the video.